If George is moving to the right, we only want to disable movement in the right direction. We want to only disable the direction in one direction. It's the direction that George was headed when he first collides with an object. We're going to create a new variable for the collision direction. For example, if George is traveling up, and at that point he's traveling up, he hits a house above him, he can't move up, but he should be able to move down and left and right. In our simplified direction system, we're using integers for the idle, down, left, up, and right. So we're going to set the collision direction as well to an integer. If there is no collision, we're going to set the default value to negative 1. So anytime it's not 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, if it's a negative 1, we're going to assume that George has not collided with anything at that current time. In the obstacle component, we are passing the entire game over so we can grab all the variables from the game. The obstacle component is the bounding box that we drew with tiled, the map editor. On collision is a method that is from flame. You can see that on collision has two parameters. One is the intersection points, which we're not going to use. The other is a collidable. We're first going to check to see if the collidable is George. So if the other is George, then we're going to change the game collision direction to the game direction. We're using a set of integers, 1 through 4, as the directions. At the time of collision, we'll print out the direction that George is headed in. Once we know the direction that George was headed in at the time of collision, so for example, if George is going right, which is integer 4 in our system, if the collision direction is 4, then when you're moving George in the update loop, you check to make sure that the direction, collision direction is not 4, and if it's not 4, then we can move George. The collidable mixin that we're using with the position component also has a nice method built in for on collision end. When George, our character, is no longer colliding with an object such as a house, we'll then change the collision direction to negative 1. This is so that in the check as we're moving George, if George just wants to move in direction 4, which is right, he'll check to see whether the collision direction is 4. If it's negative 1, it's not going to be 4. And so George can theoretically move 4, 4 again. The movement of George is controlled in the update loop of the George component. Get ready to pause the video after I describe the challenge. Your challenge is to update cases 1 through 4 of the switch statement. I have included case 4, which is the base template for the next step in getting this collision working for George. The key point you'll need to change is on step 4, which is game.collisionDirection is not equal to 4. Pause the video and change the rest of the cases. Let's so start at the top and work on case 1 first. So below the if statement and above the line where you would change the vertical axis of George, we'll set up another if statement. We're going to check if the game.collisionDirection is not equal to 1. So the exclamation point in front of the equal sign is not equal. And only in that case will we move it. As I like to test the game frequently, I'll just make this one change. We'll start up George and see whether he is blocked in a vertical down motion, which would be case one. And he is blocked. Now that we know George work basically works for this algorithm, we're going to change cases two, three, and four. I'm going to copy the line 
for the game dot collision direction from case one and apply it to case two. Then I'm going to change the not equal to two. So not equal to two in case two. You have to end the if statement with the curly bracket. Let's do the same thing for case three. And remember to add an additional curly bracket at the end of the if statement. For the final case four, we'll do the same process. And again, the curly bracket goes after that x plus equals dt times the character speed. Let's restart George again and test that he's blocked in all four directions of when he's going around. At this stage, there's going to be a small problem in that if George is going right, he can only back out and go left. This is because he is still colliding with the house or the friend and so he won't be able to go left or right but if he backs out right so if he goes in the opposite direction that he was going into he can move backwards so let's fix that right now the solution will be up to you to solve in this challenge you're going to need to go into the obstacle underscore component dot dart and create a boolean variable in this obstacle component class it's going to be private, so underscore it has collided. doesn't necessarily have to be private, but it has to be Boolean and set it to false. Then check if there is no collision before you set the collision direction. So you're setting the collision direction in the method on collision. So this portion is inside of the on collision method. And in the on collision method, before you set the game dot collision direction, check to make sure that George already hasn't collided. So have an if statement. If not has collided, then change the direction. Within that same if statement, after you set the collision direction, set the boolean variable has collided to true because george has just collided okay there's another method for when the collision ends in the on collision end method set the has collided to false pause the video now it's your time code baker in the obstacle underscore component dot dart file, let's start off at the top in the class, create a Boolean variable underscore has collided, we'll set it to false. Look for the on collision method. The on collision method again is from the collidable, which is a mix in to the position component. So before you set up the collision direction, we're going to create an if statement. So if not, the exclamation point is a not has collided, then we'll set the collision direction. And after we set the collision direction, we're going to set that Boolean variable has collided back to true. With this change, if George is going to the right, which is a, a direction four in our system, he can still go up or down. In the on collision end, set the has collided to false. Let's give it a go and see whether we improve the collision detection with these obstacles. So let's try to collide with a friend. George doesn't have any baked goods, so he didn't make the friend, but he can move up and down. So, so he's colliding from the right and this time he's colliding from the top. He collided from the, um, he's going in the up direction. So it's working as expected. Congratulations, you should be in a pretty nice position now to create uh, custom maps and create a virtual world 
of your own. Have a great day.